me, I, uh, I started immediately glowing. And so I thought, this is so cool. So I decided to check so and I went see down how to much radiation was in and got the radioactive equipment out of it and check me. No, no, that's not true. Okay. Here's the truth, okay? I have a Geiger counter that I found uh, on the no, It's not this, okay. I have a Geiger counter that a friend of mine gave me several years ago. It's so hard to tell the truth. I'm so oh, sorry. Okay. 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 I turn it on to the lowest level so it's like a low grade radiation. Right. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and show the checkpoint to show the radiation. It's going to spike up to about two or three hundred. There we go. And I'm going to zero it back out again. This takes a second here. Now, there we yesterday, go. Now, if you'll come I had over a. Here. A test where there was radioactive fluid put into me, and let's see if I'm still radioactive. This is so cool, and I I'm, I I don't glow in the dark real bright, <laughs> but there's a small amount of glow around me in the dark. So once again, here I am. Here's the radioactivity. Okay, and when you pull the the device away, it zeroes back out again to back on levels. Okay, mm -hmm. so. Let's do it again. Let's do it several times because it's kind of cool. <laughs> this is showing actual radiation. Mm -hmm. And by the way, this is enough to power a small new. I can, I'm, I, and that's not enough to do a power plant? No. Okay, no. I, I thought it might be. Vegetables grow larger if I go around them. And my garden, no, will vegetable is... grow larger? It won't? No, this is a really, really low okay, level so. of radiation. It's completely right. not dangerous. Huh? She's ruining the mystery. Well, okay. So, okay, so <laughs> I'm not giving that kind of glow. This is really, this is going to be kind of exciting. Uh, I do know that I've, this is the way I've been all of my life. I've, I've had radiation in me. Uh, it's something I've enjoyed doing uh, from the time that I started the experiments as a small I'm child. I'm going to go ahead and check and see, make sure it's operational. It's going to spike here a little bit. There we go. Why don't you get out of the shop? Okay. I, oh, I, fine. I, I'm okay. I like yeah, to be in the shop. Yeah, spiking because you're here. Oh, I'm going to step out and it'll quit spiking. I'm over here, but you can still hear my voice. Yeah. Okay, so here's the needle. We're going to go ahead and trigger the checkpoint. It's going to go up to about two or three hundred. There we go. It's going to stay there. The longer I hold it there, the higher it's going to get. I'm going to zero it out again. I had a, an examination. Uh, they wanted to see how much radiation a person could take before they, they turned purple. And they put in over 400 Rentkins of uh, radiation in me. Or the other story is is that I had my my heart checked out, and uh, and in that they put uh, radioactive dye, and then they checked to see the pumping mechanism. So this is 24 hours later, and we're trying to see whether or not I still have radiation. Okay, that would be me. I'm going to hold this unit right next to me, and can you check my face? Because I comes the sensor. Is it going up? You are definitely radioactive. It's going up to above 300. So about. And wow. you're definitely and then, very radioactive. All over it's going back. Which means know. that my radiation that's is that's bleeding into other people. Yeah, and that's probably why we're getting a little bit of background chatter here to begin with. Could that be why I last night when I was sleeping I felt like there was a night light on in the room and then when I got up I could see everywhere I went. Real good. I mean it's like there was light. But then when I left the room, it was, the room got dark. And Can so you describe made, this light for us? It glowed, it was a I was a faint green in color, glowing. Uh, and it came over and got at my feet and said, are you Alva? And I said, ooh, and then I realized it was just a ghost. Is that, no, that's not the one. Okay, this is the one, that it, do I, can I, can I be, can I be part of a nuclear power plant and like run a small city? Can I do that with this? Would this be enough? This be enough? Sure. Okay, that'd be good, okay. Why not? Okay. see if you're putting out any very strong radiation. And we're having a, a little radiation here. Uh -oh. Not a lot? Um, not a lot. This is a, a higher level of radiation, so oh. it's going to be a so, I, so it would be a very small city. Then. Very, very small city, yes. Like maybe a village. I like can a see village walls. In, like yeah. some yeah. small country. Right okay. I can, well, and also I noticed I have a lot of strength. I'm unusually stronger than usual. Got a little bit of is that like a double hero. positive? Unusually more than usual? I'm, I do have a lot of strength now. I was able to lift a small car this morning. To get it, it was, it was turned over on the road, and I turned it over. Is that like part of my radiation? We keep it in our in our special room where we keep all the other things that are special. 
check for it. Okay, yeah, it's very heavy too, by the way. There yes, must be a lot of stuff it, it in it. It is very heavy. It weighs like 80 pounds. And I can lift the it with no right one hand. No problem, yeah. Well, as you open the smoke detector, you'll see a silver container here. Now, this silver container emits a spike of radiation periodically as well. So by placing it on top of this uh, laptop computer platform and moving this device near the vents on that, you'll see an intermittent spike. Now, I'm no longer as prevalent, but watch the needle closely and you'll see it spike up a little bit. As a matter of fact, what I'll do is I'm going to step out of the picture and zoom in and see if you can still see spikes hitting. Uh, with that being said, let's zoom in now. Watching the needle, and then every once in a while you'll see it spike. And that's the intermittent radiation coming out of the smoke alarm. That's just a shield of metal coming out there. It's kind of cool. So what you're looking at here is a common smoke detector, and you're looking at the radiation on that smoke detector. So it's kind of cool. You can see that. Look at the climb of that needle. Look at that. Look at that. That's so cool. Look at that. Boy, she said, notice those without pulses. That's that's kind of what helps you uh, not be burned up in a building when you hear this thing go off. They're kind of cool. Okay, so with that being said, the experiment here is just about complete. I just wanted you to see the difference. And with me, getting near me, look at that. That's holding it over my face, over, over different parts of me. It's kind of cool. I kind of like seeing it. I'm going to put this back here. Once again, I'll pull this off here. And you can see... If I pull away from the chair just a little bit, the needle drops, and then as I approach, uh, the radiation climbs, and then finally if I hold it near my face, and uh, the vessel area, the needle Laser spikes all the way up. Cool. You are recording, I can see the red light, so we're good to go. My name is Alva Hazel, and, uh, and I recently had a uh, stress test. And as a result of that stress test, uh, I, they put a, or as part of that stress test, let's, let's start take two. Hi, my name is Alva Hazel. I recently had a stress test, and as part of that stress test, I was injected with a radioactive that they put into the bloodstream, and they are able to check for your valves and functioning units. Okay, take four. Hi, my name is Alva Hazel, and I'm radioactive. Hi, my name is Alva Hazel, and I'm really radioactive. Here's proof. <laughs>